How many years has it been since GX uh, 10? Uh, 12. 12. Oh, oh, that was 2003? I thought it was oh, yeah. 04. Oh. No, they, technically I believe there was a Game Boy Advance game that came out after it, but it was Japan only. Um, did the t did the game based off the TV show come out after uh, G uh, GX? I believe so. Because I do think that did come out in the US. No, there, there are two of them and one of them made it over. Okay. Oh, oh, it, you know what? It probably was the, um, the the show only ever got one season in the U.S., so that's probably why the second yeah, season did never come probably. out. probably. Even though we never got an English version of Falcon Punch! <laughs> I love that goddamn song. But searching for the truth. Yeah, even though it's all in Japanese, so I can't really sing it, but it's just... It's a great, it's a great track. <laughs> yeah. Way too good for that anime, which is, I remember it being pretty terrible. Like uh, the guy, I forget the guy's name, uh, the 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 main character's name. That um, Rick Rick like, Rick Wheeler. <laughs> yeah, which was obviously not his name in the original show. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I see her playing as Red Robin. Yum yum. <laughs> you weren't even in this game, Wario. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mod that puts my colors in. <laughs> okay. and, and you weren't in this game either. Uh, cross crossover? <laughs> I don't know. Um, did they get? Okay, I'm so I'm so out of pra I'm so out of practice with Wario. I'm trying to remember. In Smash Four, there's only four colors for Biker Wario and four colors for for regular uh, Wario. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I remember that that made Wario actually the most common character to run into in. If you picked random, because he technically had twice as many alts as everybody else. Yeah. Um, and so they they did that for Wario, but for the Little Mac, they gave him eight normal and eight uh, and eight um, and eight wireframes as well. So that was weird. That's a nice bike you got here. Be a shame if I broke it. <laughs> Yeah, well, your husband is never going to love you back, senpai. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Robin can Robin can marry any <laughs> can marry any character in the game. Particularly Crom. <laughs> it's actually it's actually it's really funny considering some of the the marriages you can have a uh, Robin do. Like you can have her marry Gangrel, <laughs> uh, which is just like what? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, when you played Awakening, who did you have your Robin uh, marry? Well, I did male Robin, so I did Robin Lisa. Robin Lisa. Oh, that's what I did my first playthrough. Um, yeah. I think for the Brain Scratch recording, I did Robin and uh, Muriel. Muriel. Yeah, yeah I, because... I was watching the Raws and I wondered why you did that. Uh, well, partly because Muriel's a badass and she pairs well with Robin. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> uh, so there, there's partially, partially that, and uh, also uh, if I had bothered using any of the kids, uh, that would have made Morgan a magical monster. <laughs> so there's right. That. I, and I know the I know the kids are good because um, they they do their stats are based off of the stats of the, the parents. So depending on yeah. your, your your pairings, they can be the kids can be amazing. But if you're playing on normal mode like I was, you really don't need them. And it's basically no. Just I, just, I just I just like using them. Yeah. Oh, wait, what the hell hit you? <laughs> that was the arc fire. Okay, it must have been on like the very last frame. Last it was frame. Still, it was still yeah. active or something. Um. Because um. Ooh, yeah. Okay, but what was I gonna say? I completely lost my train of thought. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. But yeah, no, the the kids are good. It's just uh, by that by the point I get by the time I usually get around to getting all of them, which is usually like at the by the end game because some of the kids' missions can be pretty hard. Um. Like they're they're kind of under leveled for the point I am, so I'd have to grind them, yeah. and I just kind of want to be done usually by that point. Fair enough. Uh, I use the kids a lot, just because. Yeah. No, that's that's fair. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Fire Emblem Fate is supposed to come out... February, I believe. February, yeah. That that makes sense. Uh, I am excited for that game, though. It'll, it'll yeah. probably end up being pretty good. I hear it's really long, though. Well, it is it is essentially three full games. No, I've heard each campaign is really long. Oh, damn. Uh. Well, I, I think the way that they, they're doing it is you've got, like, the white version and the black version. And then yeah. there's also, like, a third campaign where you side with neither. 
Um, the, the true ending. <laughs> yeah, the true ending. So, ooh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> um, no, oh, how did that kill me? Uh, the the her the if you get hit by the last attack and no, I, no, I, I know it does that, but it's just one of those that must have just barely got me off the screen. It, it might have been due to the screen, uh, to the screen, uh, shifting, uh, as well, because yeah. Wario is a pretty heavy character, and you were at a pretty low percent too, all things considered. So yeah. Uh, who do I want to play now? Uh... Okay, yeah, but... Yeah, so that's probably going to be like hundreds of hours of Fire Emblem. Um, yeah. What I think I'm probably going to do in, t in, in regards to that game is I'm probably going to play a campaign and then put the game down, put it for, a down while for a while before playing yeah, the And then one. do the other one. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I I'm going to do as well. Yeah, that's what I did with uh, SMT4. Um, and I think it'll be even easier than that game because for Shin Megami Tensei, the game is mostly the same up until like the the end game, which is like final dungeon and final bosses. Um, for Fire Emblem, I think it's only like the first five chapters or so that are that, that are the same. So going back to play it, it'll be like playing a new game every time. So that'll be pretty cool. So are you siding with obviously Evil Empire or the obviously good? Japanese people. Um, I'm actually going to pick the, the, the obviously evil empire first. Oh! Yeah. Holy shit! I was only at 60%! I hit you at the base of the sword. Ah, uh, that must Also, Mewtwo's pretty light. Yeah, Mewtwo, I think, is one of the lightest characters in the game. Um, although, if I, I, I swear, if you, if you, like, look up Mewtwo's, like, Pokedex weight, it's pretty, um, it's heavy, pretty, yeah. He, he, he's pretty heavy, but, you know, video, uh, it's a, it's a different game, so I can, I can manage. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I, I, I want to pick the 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 norm, which is the, the the dark version, for a couple of reasons. Yeah. Partially just because I think like in terms of the character, they would care more about the family they were raised in than these random mm -hmm. people who say that they're their family. Yeah. Um, and other than that, I also think it's just the more inter It's probably going to be the more interesting plot. Um, yeah. As well. Ooh. It's just one of those. I wish they had hadn't put that evil emperor father there because it's like okay, you, you can know, make the kids all good, all I mean, morally ambiguous all you want, but their leader is obviously evil. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably the. You want to know what that actually reminds me of? I'm, I know I'm bringing up SMT, uh, uh, Shimagami Tensei again. Um, in Shimagami Tensei two, you know SMT is all about like angels yeah. and demons and stuff. Um, no, uh, if in it. Shin Megami Tensei is all about being like morally amb ambiguous, but in SMT2, I believe, no matter which side you pick, uh, you pick uh, either the 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 uh, chaos, which is the demons, or law, which is the angels. God is always the final boss, uh, no matter what. Which I always thought was a very dumb choice, because it basically it basically defeats the whole moral ambiguity part of it if you just say, oh, the leader of this side is evil. <laughs> so. Ah oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh, what what track are you playing at the moment? Green Hill. Green Hill. Oh, I've got Reach for the Stars. Oof. Ah. Ow! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> This is pretty close. Yeah. I really gotta stop throwing out disabled. I know they're not gonna hit. <laughs> well, they're not useful. Uh, no, they're, they're only really useful. Ow, damn it. That, <laughs> that is not happening again. Uh, they're, they're only really useful at high percents. Because uh, that's the only time where you're really... Uh, you're really stunned long enough to, to get, like, a charged smash attack out. Or something. Or even an uncharged, really. Yeah! So <laughs> To be fair, I do that a lot too, especially when John has Samus out. Like I'll, yeah. I'll back dodge and then. John and his fucking Samus. Ah, oh, damn it! Sword reach. <laughs> yeah, that was a good match though. Uh... Yep. To shame my game sucks. <laughs> Have you played uh, six Fire Emblem six? 
No. No? Okay. I have heard not great things about it, though. Yeah, and Roy just is awful. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what... What, um... You know, and I'm probably going to be done for with Fire Emblem for a while after I play Fates, so, but I do want to beat 7 eventually. Because um, that was... Oh, you mean that's the first one, right? Uh, yeah, the first one that came out in the States. It's just called Fire Emblem here. Yeah. So, yeah, I do want to... It's not a bad game. It's just the problem is Ellie Wood is utter trash, and honestly, he's the main focus, so it's kind of like, well, why bother? Yeah, you, you have to have him on your team. And At you all don't, times, yeah. You don't get Hector mode until after you beat Ellie Wood mode, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I do want to beat it, though, just because it was the first Fire Emblem game I played. I think yeah. after that, like, other than keeping up with the new ones, I think the only other one I really want to play one day is Ike's game, uh, Path of Radiance. Path of Radiance. Yeah, because I've heard and, that and game's good. It's good, but it's hard. So we have Dr. McNinja and the Killager. And we're playing in Wooly World, which took forever to come out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just... I, I, I beat the game 100%. It's really good. Um, I know you're yeah. not a huge Yoshi fan, but... Um, I, I'm watching Nintendo Capri Suns LP of it, and it looks like a pretty good, so I may just actually pick it up. I think the, the one thing that I think might that might get you to, to like it more than like other Yoshi games um, is the fact that you don't have to get everything in one run. And, uh, in yeah. order for 100% the level. You can do a that's run... What that's, what, that's what always bugged me about Yoshi's Island. It's like, ugh. You have to You have to not only get all the stuff, but get all the stuff with a full health bar. So you can yeah. do a run where you get all the flowers. You can do a run where you get all of the... Get all the Yoshis. Yeah, where you get all of the, the, the stamps, and then you can do a run where you don't get hit. I mean, it'll take longer, but you can definitely do it. And if you do unlock the secret levels, they are really hard. Um, because gotcha. I, I think they give you just most of them. I think give you just enough hearts to, to do it to get uh, to get a full health bar. And I, there's also the fact that um, uh, I think there's no checkpoints at all. So gotcha. Yeah. Um, but no, Yoshi's Woolly World is a, is a good game. Uh, it's a little. I think the only thing about it for me though was that it was pretty short. I, I think I beat it in. What is it? Only like five worlds. It's six, I think. Uh, six worlds. Uh, so, six worlds, eight levels, eight levels plus the plus the, the bonus. Secret. So nine times six is forty-five. Uh, Fifty-four. Uh, oh, and uh, fifty fifty-five because there is a, a final secret level. Oh. Which was kind of underwhelming, all things considered, because uh, it was just it was re it was it wasn't like a rehash in level design, but they did bring it was just a re a repeat of old level tropes. Uh, made harder and longer, um, mm. but it, it is a good it's a good game. I just I think when it comes to uh, when it comes to Wii U platformers, it beats out it beats out Donkey Kong and New Super Mario Brothers. But I still think, I don't know. I really like Tropical Freeze. Eh, it's okay. Oh, ow. Um, it's it's okay. It's just it, it has the same problems that Return had that bo bother me uh, in terms of the level design. Uh, where there's I've never really liked Donkey Kong level design. Oh. <laughs> You be my little dance. <laughs> um, it's just uh, there's a lot of stuff where like you need to have a specific partner in order to get such and such secret exit and things like that, and it's it's and there's a lot of like how am I supposed to expect that kind of moments, which just kind of annoy me. Um, but I I, I'd still say Rayman Legends is a better game than Wooly World. Uh, yeah. Rayman Legend. I, I I really do want to play Legends again though because that is a that's Wait till Momocon. I, well, I should. Well, I think it would be. Well, like not for recording, but just for fun. It, it probably would be yeah. a good idea to. Ah, I got you with the tree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it would. I think it would be a good idea to refresh myself with all of, where all the stuff was. Uh, for, for Momocon because, I don't know how much how many of the teensies we're gonna want to go for, for in terms yeah. of that. <laughs> Balloon fight away! <laughs> Villager's recovery is ridiculous, though. Wait, hold on. Did they nerf how long you can be in the balloon? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, yeah. Gonna plant the tree. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Wanna look at my what? tree? Want to come see my tree? No.
I think they did rip a lot of these assets straight out of Woolly World, though. Yeah, probably. No! No. Oh. Look at my stick! <laughs> Drawing with the stick. <laughs> this is your fossil! <laughs> but I'm right here! <laughs> uh, time paradox. <laughs> I time traveled. <laughs>